Okay, it's Seattle week for the Giants, and this is the week that they've, well, they've probably not been dreading, but I think fans have probably been dreading pretty much the entire year. A short week, a long flight to face the Super Bowl champions in their building where, other than the Cowboys a couple of weeks ago, nobody's really won over the last few years. Maybe not as daunting a challenge as we thought it would be a couple of weeks ago, but given the state of the Giants right now, this looks to be about as unwinnable a game as there is. Yeah, see, yeah, coming in, you looked at it, and yeah, Seattle is not playing as well as they were coming off a tough, I mean, they beat the Raiders, didn't look impressive doing it. Their secondary is banged up. The thing is, the Giants' secondary, already banged up, is that much more banged up. Prince of Mukamara is done for the season, and then today, we show up to practice, and Zach Bowman, who's was probably set to start in Prince's place is out not here he's in the hospital getting um, an abdominal injury checked out so so right now they're down to and we don't know the status yet of Zach Bowman but you think about all the guys they've lost they're down to a gimpy Dominique Rogers Cromartie J. Ron Hosley and a bunch of guys that I honestly could not name at this point and I don't think most fans would recognize it's about as bad I mean, they've had injuries over the years hit certain positions but this is about as bad I've seen, and they might get away with it against a Seattle team that isn't dominated by the pass, and maybe even the 49ers, although Anquan Bolden is going to be difficult next week. But that's really going to hurt them down the stretch because this is a passing league, and they don't have the horses to cover anymore. Exactly, and, and you wonder, they're going to be, I mean, even this week, they're going to be inserting so many new guys into the defense, who, who and they've, they've had miscommunication issues from the very start of the season with the guys they wanted out there and now you're you're probably going to throw Shockey Brown he's one of the new guys Mike Harris could wind up being a starter J. Ron Hosley who's been uneven you're going to throw these guys in there and ask them to communicate and don't be surprised if there are breakdowns as we've seen already you're showing off I really could name Mike Harris and Shockey Brown I was just being flippant <laughs> a little bit. yeah a little bit anyway so we're, look it's a rainy day we're all doom and gloom here but that's kind of the way it is for the Giants right now they are three and five seemingly headed to three and six let's try to turn this into a little bit of a sunny day give one reason why if there is one reason why there's hope for this season I mean, what what can giants fans latch on to to believe that maybe there's a playoff berth at the end of this non-existent rainbow um i'm, I'm thinking this could be hard i mean feel free to show i'll go with eli and odell beckham they're the two bright spots eli is still playing some of the best football we've ever seen from him efficiency wise um not necessarily being aggressive, but, I mean, the picks are down, and he can keep them in games when he's not making mistakes. And Odell Beckham, I mean, he's looked fantastic. Yeah, Beckham has looked really good in his uh, short time in the NFL. Eli has been fantastic this season, but it increasingly looks like his performance will go to waste. So there's your doom and gloom outlook as we head to rainy Seattle, and you can read all about it and, and watch all about it on Sunday after the game right here on NYDailyNews.com. It's raining here, too. <laughs>